Hey everybody, David Kuhn here, and I just want to take a few minutes to uh, try to share a little what's on my heart. And it's about the pain. The pain and the, the, the emotional or mental pain or physical pain that we sometimes suffer, and that we walk with together. And I think I want to start out by, by saying that it, in my case, it's something new to me to understand that the, that the pain in my body is actually something that my body is trying to get my attention about, something in my life that maybe isn't in balance, and that the pain is there um, to trigger something in me that I should acknowledge and that I should be uh, thankful for because it's a message to me. And sometimes I find myself that find that uh, I am not in touch with my own body. You know, it's just been a very recent time that I actually even realized that the, the body had its own consciousness. And uh, I have to, to apologize to my body for some of the things that I have put it through, some of the uh, physical pain that it's had to suffer because of my choices or because of my uh, lack of decisions. And I think it's important that we come to a place to where um, we start paying attention to some of the signals that our body is giving us and, and to start to realize that, hey man, if you're doing something that may be uh, going down a path that is not uh, very healthy for yourself, that you're, you are affecting your body and that your body is going to try to reach out and say, hey man, you need to quit doing this or there's something up and I'm trying to get your attention and I'm trying to make you realize that you need to go a little bit deeper. So what I've learned to do um, or what I'm learning to do is to actually acknowledge the pain and to look into what my body is saying. Now, many of you are maybe in a little bit different place than I am. Uh, this awakening has been uh, rather new to me and getting to, to understand these things and uh, layer by layer these um, I guess these knowings or these teachings that I'm receiving are starting to shake things up in my life. Um, I've always uh, suffered from some, some types of pain and a lot of times it's because of the choices I've made and the things that I have done um, that you know have brought my own uh, body to this place you know 56 years old and I'm trying to trying to work it out I'm trying to learn how to to listen and to look at what it is that's actually going on with my body um, the weight gain uh, over a short period of time there was like a 60 pound weight gain in less than seven or eight months without changing too much of my diet uh, some things just started happening in my body which also is, has caused uh, you know almost 300 pounds the, the knees and the lower back and different areas like that are starting to act up. So what I'm doing or what I'm getting ready to start a journey uh, which I think is going to be kind of a daily thing because it's it's kind of like getting to new this getting to know this new part of myself or or not new part of myself but new to me because I wasn't aware of it you know I lived in the mind and uh, that's another <laughs> issue and video that I that I uh, may do later on um, but getting to know the that you are um, sharing this body with a, another consciousness can be a little spooky, a little scary, but it's really not like that. Um, so what I've come to do is to take this one step at a time and to try to, to start listening to my body and what it's trying to tell me. And the, the pain is there and I'm thankful for it. Should I be thankful for pain? You know, that may sound a little bit crazy. But, yes, it, because it's, it can be a warning um, uh, sign or it could be a, a way of the body reaching out and saying, hey, there's some things getting ready to go wrong here and you, or that are wrong here uh, or harmful that you need to change. Um, it is, you know, sometimes the effects of alcohol. You know, you've heard me a couple of times talking about um, having cocktails and all. And, and this is something that I have... Uh, fought pretty much well from my entirety since I was a teenager. Um, you know, going through 
the abuse, the poor, the body is, is, is not accepting the alcohol as much anymore. It's starting to cause harm. And those are things that are, are pretty much well a battle within myself that um, I'm carrying this body through. And I guess the point I'm trying to get at that is that there are some things that, that, that we do that cause the pain that are very understandable and they should be something that we, we should be aware of. And then it's just up to us to make a decision to change that. Now what happens when we continue to go through the, the process of dragging the body through the things that we do or the, the actions that we have, there's going to be uh, a, a reaction and that reaction is sometimes uh, going to be not so great. So it's important for us to be thankful for the pain because it's, you know, it's, it's your body's way of trying to, you know, to get your attention and say let's make a change here. So that's what my goal is uh, now and that's something that I'm getting ready to to uh, dive into. The spiritual side is also a big part of this but I have to learn to combine these two consciousness and to it's kind of like the the divine masculine and divine feminine aspect of, of our persons that we need to uh, bring together and to try to learn to live together in this experience that we have here playing this game. So I encourage everyone that yes the pain it is it's, it can be very very devastating at times and and it can slow you down and, and it, it's, it's your body crying out and uh, saying hey pay attention to me and be thankful be thankful learn I've, I'm learning to love my body I'm learning to love myself and as nigh as taught and I don't do it as often it's something that I'm going to strive to do is you know take a look at yourself in the mirror and look into your eyes they say it's the window to the soul and start loving yourself start getting dissolving these negative thoughts about yourself start looking at it as another person sometimes when you look at other people you can say you can choose make a decision well I you know I'm going to look at that person in judgment and to look at that person and say, oh wow, look at this or look at that, and it's like the transition that I've been that I've been going through with my spiritual and emotional side is looking at all things with love and looking at all things as a part of myself. And I think that that's very key in understanding your body. If you can actually come to grips, and the first thing that we need to do um, to become one with our body is to acknowledge it is to acknowledge it and get to know it and get to start listening to what it is trying to say and what it is trying to inform you of and forgive your body forgiveness is not something that's important uh, on the grand scheme of things but it's important for you to come to grips whether you feel you need to forgive yourself for what you have done to your body for the life that you have uh, given it whatever that stumbling block may be maybe that's part of it I guess forgive isn't really the, the right thing it's just whatever it takes for you to learn to love that aspect of you is very important I'm thankful for the pain that I feel the pain that I feel in my shoulders and my lower back and my knees my ankles because it's it's my body trying to say hey you need to change some things and I'm, I'm taking this as a part of my spiritual awakening because after all, I, I plan on going to 5D with this body. And at the rate that I have been going, it's not going to go with me, so to speak, if I continue the route that I'm going on. So I noticed that um, Naya has uh, did a session with you all, a bunch of you, last night. And now me, because I'm, I'm getting the, the chance to look at it uh, through the video. Uh, thank God for the technology we have in this day and time that we can actually partake in that way and I'm going to consciously go through the steps and if it takes me watching the the video several times uh, then that's what I'm going to do because the healing of myself is so important uh, for me to continue to go through this process to get to 5D so I'm thankful for the pain but I kindly want to, to allow the pain to know that hey I understand and I acknowledge you and I want to send you love and I want to help you move on to a better state of being a better form of being so that pain can turn into joy and that pain can turn into light 
and happiness and I'm trying to make the pain to allow the pain to transform and the only way that the pain is going to transform is if I actually bring that pain happiness and joy and lighten up and be thankful anyway this may seem like I'm rambling I, I think I'm rambling a little bit but I hope that by doing this video that at least for myself that I can come to acknowledge um, what it is that my body is trying to do and that's communicate and I'm trying to uh, acknowledge that that communication and try to transform it so that I can become a more whole and complete being so be thankful for the pain don't fall in love with the pain to the point to where you want it to stay around every day of your life but give it that love so it can transform and become part of you that is not painful and that is transformed into joy and thanksgiving so that's it guys talk to you next time